Uh, As we've seen with the running back position that we're talking about, running backs, the cheaper guys have really just been where where it's at. I mean, we saw last week the winning millionaire lineup. We just had three guys, I I believe, all under 6K. Uh, This is really where you need to attack. And I think David Montgomery coming back is in a really nice spot here at home. Uh, You know, we saw the Chicago Bears put up a little bit of fight in their last game against Pittsburgh, uh, Justin Fields started to come to life and Montgomery was back and, and it was clearly the David Montgomery show. This is the running back for the Chicago Bears when he's healthy, 15 touches coming off an injury. Uh, there was rumors that he might split carries and stuff. That's not going to happen. I love attacking Baltimore too. This is just not a good defense. Uh, I, you know, you look at their metrics, they allow a lot of big plays. They're up there in terms of like, you know, receptions allowed to running backs and stuff like that. So I, I think it's a great spot to deploy David Montgomery because a, the, the main thing is he's 5,500. This is the this saves you a ton of cash. You can pay up for those big stud wide receivers, which have been way more consistent this year. And, uh, you know, just keep with the theme of, of looking for cheap running backs and good spots. Okay, is there a cheap running back in a good spot you like, Pierce? There isn't. Um, I mean, there's a couple guys on the board. Maybe we'll see some things clear up by the end of the week, but no one that I really want to take a risk on just yet. And I'll just pay it for Ezekiel Elliott in a spot against the 29th rush defense. In Kansas City, we've got a really healthy 55 over under on this game. We know Ezekiel Elliott will get the goal line work. Tyron Smith could be back in this game. And, you know, if Dallas is wise, they're going to be a little bit more conservative and run the ball on the hoping that, you know, Patrick Mahomes hasn't fixed his issues. Because if Mahomes is back, then you need to keep him out of rhythm. You got to keep the ball away from him, keep the ball on the ground, feed it to Ezekiel Elliott. You don't want to get into a shootout with Kansas City because then you end up passing too much. And you kind of play into not necessarily one of their strengths, but they're definitely better as a pass defense than they are a rush defense. So I think it would be wise to hammer with Ezekiel Elliott this week. Uh, Steve, who are you rolling with at running back? Yeah, Miles Gaskin is 5,700 going up against the worst run defense in the league. That's the New York Jets. They're allowing an average of 32.3 DraftKings fantasy points on the year. Like, it's been absolutely abysmal when this team is facing anybody that's going to run the ball against them. Obviously, the the, uh, Dolphins are favored in this game. And, you know, Miles Gaskin hasn't been overly productive, but you look at the carries he's getting here, uh, 14, 20, 12, 15 over the past month or so. Like, if he's going to get that type of volume against the Jets, the points are going to come. So I feel like this is something you're getting that is really cheap and one of the best matchups of the season here. I know he's been a little spotty with the run blocking because he's not getting the, you know, the, the blocks in front of him, but uh, it's really not going to matter in this matchup because that's just how bad the Jets have been. 5,700, he has a chance to really go 4X on his value here. 